Let me ask you something. All right. Let me tell you something! Let me tell you something! What if what we know as reactive conditioning is wrong? Which is the idea of playing playlists from easy to hard? What if there's a better way? I thought about this a lot and I realized something my man Athlean X said about bodybuilding. What he's saying is when you're working out, start the exercise with a very heavy set. This could actually spark you to get new scores. Because this basically puts the muscle in overload and more importantly, when you're switching to a normal weight, it will feel easy as fuck. Could we apply this technique to aim training? Is it worth it? Well, I made a playlist for you guys to decide for yourself. Something to spice it up in your aim training. I've been getting bored of Kovac's infinite supply of copy and paste scenarios and playlists. So I'm here to rescue you from that dry ass playlist folder and at the same time steal your dad's credit card. I made two versions for this. The first one is basically what I recommend, a mix of tracking and clicking, while the other one is basically more common scenarios found in benchmarks for those who want to up their score. Now what got me thinking of this is actually a mix of playing very difficult scenarios and the playlist created by LG56 which really focuses on challenging you. So again, like my Fire and Ice playlist, I want to make something unique and somewhat thought provoking. Think about that the next time you create your own playlist and maybe you can come up with something even better than me. Perhaps a mix between region tracking and reactive. Do me a favor though, if you do, post it on my Discord because I want to play that shit. You guys are creative as fuck. Alright, so let's go over some playlists and the decisions I've made. Basically, you can see here we're starting off with Smooth Bot. I was starting off with the hardest version there probably is, the extra extra small one. You play this two times and then you move over to the very easy version of that one which is bigger and moves slower and so the entire playlist continues you can see here i have uh precision tracking which is smaller and it's region tracking as well comparative to smooth sphere smooth thin strafes very hard compared to very easy and so on and so on. that's how the entire playlist works this covers basically all fields of um, aiming so you don't have to worry about that it's a full playlist but it's pretty short as well so over to the uh, voltaic ones which are basically meant to be as benchmarks and what i did here i had a couple of choices what i could do here but i ended up going out with the what felt best for me which is basically making the advanced version and then the intermediate versions and so you just replayed the scenario twice basically to the advanced version which is harder than the intermediate version so the reasoning i did this was because number one you're playing voltaic and you're increasing in both benchmarks sure it's double the playlist but also if you're an advanced user you can still benefit and if you're an intermediate user you can also still benefit from this so it's sort of like if you want to boost your scores in voltaic this is probably the best way to do it i could add other scenarios uh, a different version of passu but i felt like this was the best one for people who who actually want to improve in voltaic and see their score change so try these out and uh, tell me what you think because i'm really interested in this thing peace